In this episode of Kitchen Dads, we're gonna cook up some spaghetti squash. Stay tuned. So if you haven't tried spaghetti squash yet, you're in for a treat. For many years, I didn't try it. it. Didn't have any resemblance to spaghetti, but I tried it a few years ago. I love it. It's really versatile. It's really good. It's easy to make. We're gonna show you a couple different things you can do with your spaghetti squash. So first, you wanna look for one that's clean, doesn't have any cracks. You wanna look at the stem. You wanna make sure that um, it's not pitting or cracking apart so you know it's kind of fresh. Now. There's three basic ways to cut spaghetti squash, uh, to make spaghetti squash. Um, you, can, you, can, you can boil it, which we don't do. You can roast it in part or in whole, and you can microwave it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these little boogers are hard to cut. So if you're confident with a knife, or, you've got, or you know someone that is, uh, you go ahead and cut it up. And if you're gonna do that, and let's do it to this one, you're gonna cut it, you see what I mean? It's not for the faint of arm. You just cut your spaghetti squash in half, right? And then you scoop out some of your seeds. Okay, so you're taking the seeds out of the spaghetti squash. At this point, you can quarter it again, you cut it in half, you can quarter it again, you can rub it with a little bit of olive oil. Make sure you get it all around so we get some nice brown flavor. You season it with a little salt and with a little pepper. You put your oven on at 375, you bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, what you're looking for is basically the strands start to come out that are uh, very, they're easy or when you, when you, it's fork tender. So basically when you push it with a fork, um, you, you know, it's, it's what, as they say, fork tender. All right. Now I have another way to do this. It's actually much easier. If you have a little more time, it's, it's a much easier method. You take the spaghetti squash and you take a fork and you just put some holes all over the spaghetti squash. All right. Make sure the holes go in the spaghetti squash and not in your hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You put your oven again on at 375. Take your baking tray, put it on the baking tray and put it in the oven for about an hour. That's it, it's, it's simple. Let's go do that. Our spaghetti squash out of the oven. It's been roasting for about an hour. It's, it's kind of cooled. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did before, except it's going to be much easier. We're going to just take our knife and we're going to cut through the middle. Turn around. And then you can see we can remove the inside, the seeds on the inside. And you can see what I'm talking about is that the strands of the spaghetti squash are starting to come loose, resembling the shape of spaghetti, thus its name. And then just take a fork and just pull it out and put it into a bowl. Now at this point, your options are endless. Some people like to put some Spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce with some mozzarella cheese on it. You can saute it with tomatoes and capers. Um, I like to have it with a little bit of melted butter and a little Parmesan cheese. You know what, let's put a little pepper on there too. It's healthy, it's nutritious. Sometimes you, I sneak it into my kids' rubber spaghetti. Um, I cut up with other vegetables. It's really, there's, the possibilities are endless. So if you haven't yet, go out and get some spaghetti squash because it's mm -mm good.